then a Chevrolet. A lot more torque. So they say, I don't know. I always call these the, the 350 Rockets. They're gold. You can tell from the valve covers. But me, instead of sitting here shooting a bull, I guess I could be uh, putting a filter in. Let's see if it fits. I mean... size difference. Can you see? Oh, well look at that. Okay. Well, what a waste of space on that one. So you guys can make it up here. That spins right on. Just trying to get my rag up. <clears throat> there we go. Let that drain. Get more for the wrench back out of here. This does not need to be tight because what happens? You start pulling those threads. And somebody had. I think I put Teflon tape on it. I think it leaked a little bit even. That's red. Maybe I got that out of a different pan. Because I'm thinking they did... S well, I took it... When I first got it, I took it and got the oil changed in it. Dad said, take it and get the oil changed. And he would... Tell me where to take it. He would pick me up, drop me off, and all that good stuff. And they stripped it out and they ended up giving me oil because it was dumping it everywhere. But I had to go find a replacement plug. And I think, I'm not even sure I got it. I was always working on something that probably came out of a Chevrolet. Is that something hanging off that? Huh? Just the way it's running off. It's just running out the pump right now. Yep. So yeah, it could have been stripped before I got it even. But anyway, I ain't worried about that. We'll fix that later. have some oil over there we'll dump in it yeah I don't know how this is going to look Put this back on so this may be a little shaky. There we go.
see that? There's one I put in it. I know I said I took it somewhere. That was the first time I ever had it changed. I changed it after that. Always use Delco stuff. Especially when I'm working on GM. But I could not find a Delco filter for today. The only thing I could find they had in stock was the STP and about two of them. Here's the other one. Size difference. You see it? I see why it works because the O ring is the same size and it's the same thread. So maybe you have less capacity. Look at all that crud in there. That's nasty. You have less capacity? I don't. Oh well. I didn't think it would work, but because I told him, I was like, man, that's not even the same size. So, well, that's what Crofts cross-referenced so well I'll try it doesn't work I'll order some vintage oil filters from uh, flea bay all right it worked hopefully I have oil pressure hopefully uh, let's see I bought this one accident for my truck and I'm not gonna run high mileage in the truck I have my own opinions about it, but this one's going to end up getting rebuilt regardless. So whatever it does to the seals, it's not going to matter because there it leaks like a sieve anyway. I've got a theory. I don't know if, it, if it's right or not, but oh, the stuff like swells up your seals so it'll seal up and not leak then when you were straight when you swell up your seal and something it just makes it because they're they're leaking because it wore out so if you swell them up it may wear it out even more and leak even worse Plus, these seals are probably just as hard as a rock. They're not going to swell up anyway. That's just my theory. Let's make sure we're not dumping out the bottom because I have done that before. We're not dumping out the bottom. Never mind my wiring mess. It's I started getting it going, trying to get it going before I turned the camera on. I should have turned the camera on first, and you would have caught me doing all this this uh, stuff here. That I'm just working with what I've had in the shop here. I did have to go. I did go and try to buy regular parts and stuff for it, but I just could not. Uh, could not get them. So let's let that drain down. Look there. Uh cool. Can you see it? Right above the full. Okay. I'm sure most probably put oil in the filter before they start dumping it in there. Or before they put the filter on. I have. I kind of go both ways. It's going to get oil in it. Either way. 
All right, onward. Any of you that don't know an Oldsmobile, that's where they fill up with oil at. Right there in the front. Okay, I poured oil, or yeah, poured oil down in the carburetor. I poured gas in the carburetor. Hooked up. There's oil in it. Yep, full of race oil. Full of full of race gas. Race battery. No, I'm kidding. That's uh, that's what she does. Maybe she wants more gas in her. Put a little bit more in it. Hey, you know what? I didn't hook up the this. I didn't hook that back up. Hung it up there. <laughs> Alright. Let's let that sit for a minute, maybe. Maybe it'll open that up in there. And hook the battery. Well, it's looking better. It didn't have this fitting, which that's an air chuck. Did, all these vacuum lines were unplugged. This is the EGR. This is 72. This was uh, actually. PVC goes here to here. Um, PVC, the 72s didn't have any GR. This intake's off of a 73. That ain't right, but it's going to have to work for right now. So I can order some parts for, make it all correct. So. We got a little bit of fire out of it. There it is. Spit some stuff out. I'll come back out and try it again. Let's move this. Not so approved containers of uh, liquid fire. So I'm gonna let that set like that for a little while. And you know what? I might, I think I'm gonna go ahead and pour some more. I've already done this. I'm gonna do some more. Even though it has fired, we've run, run some through it. I'm gonna go ahead and put some more down in it. Okay. Let me check the oil now that we've run it through the filter. Can use a little bit. Put that oil to the crankcase. And I may, because it may have some lifters stuck. That probably is not a bad idea. As long as it's sitting, it may have a lifter stuck. So we'll just put a little bit of this in there. That'll 
free up the rings, that'll free up everything inside. Hopefully it doesn't free up a bearing. Or maybe it does free up a bearing. Hopefully there's none stuck. Just hoping it didn't free it up from the rod journal and stick it to the crank. Anyway. I'm going to work on some other stuff on it. Like I need to put that bumper on it. I have a gas tank, so I'm gonna end up taking the gas tank out of it. It's actually right there. I have a different trunk deck for it too. I don't know if it's mine's in better shape or if that one is. Air conditioning need to put in it but i'm wanting to rebuild it so let's get it running first yeah needs a roof skin yes this was in the car when's the last time you seen a mountain dew bottle like that choose your music uh the dates on it we'll see the dates let's see Ooh, that's nice isn't it 727 of 2000 or while supplies last. Uh, 727, 831. So this was from 2000. It's probably the last, one of the last times I drove it. Ooh, yeah, look at that stuff floating in there. I don't know if you can see that or not, but yeah. Hey, Donnie. I give you a ten dollars if you take a swig of that <laughs> anyway got a lot of work to do on her and we'll jump back in here when i'm working on something else but i'm gonna let that uh i'll let that stuff sit in that pump and if it doesn't work i'll just go get a another pump for it i like to order i like to get the right Carbitrator for it But let's get it running. Let's just see if we can get it running To where I can wait for it to quit raining Take it outside and kind of wash it off and be careful not to get it on the roof I'm gonna the, roof, the headliner is not horrible but I don't want to make it worse We'll wash off the dust and the dirt be able to maybe take it up down the road here. That's what I want. I have to put some more antifreeze in it. Another jug. I stole the jug off of it for the sawmill. Yeah. That's the. It was an aftermarket jug anyway. It wasn't the proper one. So anyway. I will uh, jump back in here whenever we do some more work to it. Till then, later. Howdy folks, here we are back in the garage messing with the old cutlass. Give that fuel pump one more chance. I have another one. Went and picked up a brand new one for it, but uh, give it another shot here. Get you'll hear maybe. Let me see what's going on here.
She started. <laughs> Woohoo! I moved the fan back here, but uh, I thought it would smoke more than that. Well, that fuel pump worked then, didn't it? Yep. She sucked her clean. Well, look at her. Well, that's pretty cool. Pretty cool she is. All right. Well, I wonder if it was charging. I wonder if it was doing all that stuff. Everything was moving. Everything was working. So, power steering was working. So, sound like I need to put plugs in it. So, there you have it. Seventy two Cutlass first start in twenty one. 20 years, 21 years, something like that. Heck yeah. Uh, pretty cool stuff there. Alright. Well. I guess some plug wires, or plugs, plug wires probably. And, uh, I put the gas tank in it. I have a brand new gas tank to put in it. And uh, we'll go from there, see what happens. Also, uh, I think I'm going to pull that, pull this out, radiator cover, measure it, and see if I can get another radiator for it. But uh, there she is. I'll jump back in here and do some more updates later.